This is an instrument which was only created two years ago. Uh, we are now implementing it for the first time. It's an instrument uh, where there is a defined time frame, and we have to respect the different uh, deadlines. And uh, of course, our main concern were deficiencies in the area of public procurement, in the area of corruption, conflict of interest. And this is why we have addressed, so to say, the cuts in those areas where we have seen in the past and most likely also in the future that there, that uh, in this uh, so-called uh, structural fund programs, the highest number of public procurement cases will occur. And this is something uh, which is important for us to uh, improve the situation, to guarantee uh, competitiveness. And uh, this is why we have targeted these three programs with our potential uh, proposal for cuts in case Hungary is not delivering on what we have asked for. You also have that proposed budget uh, protection measure uh, in place, and that's, of course, due to uh, you know quite a few issues. Is there a lack of trust of Hungary on your part? For the time being, uh, the proposals being on the table are reassuring, but what counts is uh, uh, indeed uh, the implementation. And first, we need to see um, at the latest till uh, mid of November that all these measures and many of them need uh, legal decisions, need adjustments or the creation of new laws are implemented. And of course, afterwards, we will see uh, how these um, measures are concretely implemented, which results uh, they show in the future. Yeah, I mean, other countries which have kind of been violators of these rules of law, the likes of Poland, the likes of Bulgaria, they'll obviously be watching this with uh, quite a keen eye. So will the rest of the EU to see if you have that hard stance to, to be able to be a little bit firmer with regards to this. Are you worried that this may set some sort of precedent when it comes to uh, the, the issuing of aid and funds to, to EU nations? First, it's important to understand we have meanwhile a toolbox of uh, uh, possible measures addressing deficiencies of uh, rule of law. Here it's about a special instrument which is uh, targeted to address um, deficiencies in the use of uh, European taxpayers' money. So it's about protecting European taxpayers' money. So it's a rather limited scope and uh, this is exactly what we are doing here for, for Hungary, but it's an instrument, of course, which applies potentially to all member states.